Hello, welcome to IF, videos on history, mystery and science. Let me start out with a thank you to all the new subscribers and for those that haven't yet subbed, give this video a watch and if you enjoy it, hit that red button and remember to slap that bell to get notifications. In this video, we take a look at Morgellons disease. Morgellons is indeed a mysterious illness. Sufferers claim it to be a real sickness, while the majority of medical professionals claim it does not exist. So let's jump right into it. Is this sickness, fact or fiction? Morgellons is a strange disorder. People suffering from this illness manifest some truly bizarre symptoms. Sores develop on the skin and these sores contain strange multicolored fibers. These fibers can range in length from being so small you need high magnification to see them to being long enough for the naked eye to spot them sprouting from the skin like odd colored hairs. Granules, worms, eggs, fuzzballs and other strange stuffs have been reported coming out of the skin. These sores are said to itch terribly and cause the infected person to scratch compulsively. Other symptoms reported by Morgellon sufferers are the feeling of movement under the skin and fatigue. For these reasons, Morgellon's disease is sometimes referred to as the skin crawling disease. So what do the medical professionals say? Why is it that they claim this disease to be created in the minds of those that claim to have contracted this weird illness? Why when there seems to be so much evidence in the form of these fibers and it is clear people are struggling to cope with this skin crawling illness, they diagnose it as psychosomatic. The CDC Center for Disease Control conducted research back in 2008. They performed examinations of patients, testing their blood and urine and analyzing biopsies of the fibers removed from sores. Researchers could not find any common cause of illness among Morgellons patients. This led them to believe that those who suffer from Morgellons are actually experiencing a psychiatric condition called delusional infestation. This condition being the delusional belief that you are infested with parasites. This condition then sends the patient into a downward spiral, the anxiety manifesting physical symptoms. The more symptoms that manifest, the worse the physical signs. This circle continues and has the medical definition of somatization disorder. However, not all doctors are so quick to dismiss this disease. Dr. Greg Smith has been looking to find the truth, this because he himself has contracted the illness. He has found a lack of support and even belief in the disease and has been battling to get the medical community to do more serious research and find a cause and cure for those that have contracted Morgellons. So what could be the causes if it is not psychosomatic? In 2013, international scientists found Borrelia, a corkscrew-shaped bacteria associated with tick-borne disease in skin samples of four Magellan's patients. A larger study in 2015 found the same results. Despite this evidence, the medical community has been slow to acknowledge the association between Morgellons disease and Borrelia infection. There are also some more outlandish claims. Some say a small insect known as a springtail has made its way under their skin. Others say that it is an alien infection from outer space. They have the theory that Morgellons is connected to the crash of NASA's Genesis spacecraft. The Genesis probe was designed to collect a sample of solar wind and return it to Earth for analysis. It crashed in the Utah desert in 2004, supposedly showering the Earth in ectoparasites that began breeding under our skin. These parasites slowly spreading through the population of Earth. So you better head to the bathroom, grab that magnifying glass and inspect anywhere that you feel an itch. It could be Morgellons or a mozzie bite. Do you think that this disease is real? Is it a bacterial infection or an alien parasite? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, catch us on social media, Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're infected with an alien parasite, hit the dislike. Subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. Until next time.